Okay, so I am in between sort of these two points, trying to bypass this little crack you see going across this way. Yeah, I can't explain it very well, but I want to go way like this way into the ocean. Now, the first barrier I passed over here, I passed the second barrier. Now, because of uh, sort of the behavior of this wall, I can't SLC it even here. See what happens when I try to call my bird behind me? No, that's not what's supposed to happen, but I have to reload. No, not like that. I'm going to just make the save here. Normally, we kind of struggle to swim towards you. But this time, it just hangs around there. And the bigger is too strong to climb onto it. So it looks close, but you just can't reach it. And the momentum won't help me here because these barriers is a lot more solid than it seems. So the point is that I can call it and make it go sort of uh, this way. Effectively going across the wall, kind of like where red is and sort of stutter itself out of bounds with me on it. It won't be easy. Yeah, I think that's in bounds. Yeah, that won't help me. Try to reload. Let's okay. get out. I want to hug it as much as possible, at least this way. Let it spawn where red is. I guess I can just get lucky and get out of bounds. Okay, whatever. One of the benefits of trying to do this against the wall. Don't we get it for free. We are in a proper new game chapter 2 file. And we are out of bounds. I'm expecting the Meridian Ocean to pop up any moment now. Oh, we want to get beyond that pin. Ah! <laughs> Straight to June on then. Okay, how about that? But this is completely uh, uninteractable. The thing about switching maps is uh, it's going to maintain the sort of coordinates regardless of what map you're on. So this is in the same position as the, the other one. That's that. 